Hello, lovely ladies. Welcome to day seven of the Virtuous Woman Challenge. I hope that you have been enjoying the challenge and that you have had a beautiful day wherever you are. It is beautiful down here in Georgia. It rained for a little bit today, but it stopped and the sun is back out and it's back beautiful. So I've had a lovely day and I hope that you have had the same. Uh, today's meditation is on health and the irony of today is that I am actually sick. <laughs> I caught myself having a little free time last night and I went in the living room and said I was going to watch a few plays or Netflix and I just felt my whole insides just begin to burn like I have this really bad sinus headache and it's just not good. So the ironic thing is that <laughs> today we're going to be talking about health. So y'all just pray for me. I am feeling a little bit better though. Uh, today's principle is the moderation principle, which everybody knows to do everything in moderation, but I'm changing it for our challenge. The moderation principle is now do everything under your consistent level of management. If you've read my journal entry, um, or if you haven't, let me share the main points with you. First and foremost, I don't like setting health goals. I think that they are ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous to say, I'm going to lose 20 pounds in four weeks and I'm going to stop eating chocolates and sweets and cakes because nobody can just quit. There are temptation foods like that. It really is a setup to say that you're going to do something and it kind of feels extreme even when you say it. So I don't believe in setting health goals um, in that way. What I would like for you to do is set a health goal that is more of an affirmation. My health goal is take care of me so that I can take care of business. And you can feel free to use that if you want to. And I just know what taking care of me looks like. I know that means that I got to take vitamins. I know it means that I have to have eight glasses of water. I know that it means I need to get adequate rest. I know that it means I have to learn how to manage my stress level. Um... I know that it means that I have to have a diverse group of foods throughout the day. We just can't eat all meat or all carbs or all sweets. We have to eat a variation of foods. So I know that personally, that's what taking care of me looks like. I'm not really a big exercise fanatic. I hope to one day become that, <laughs> but I'm not currently. But I like to do um, activities like dancing or playing games on the Wii is a great form of exercise. So I cannot stress any particular magical remedy that is going to be perfect for you. Just know that you have to take care of you so that you can take care of business because a virtuous woman still has to take care of business. It's one of the primary reasons why I hate being sick because I feel like I'm missing out on opportunities by being sick in a bed. And last night, I felt myself getting sick, and I spoke the words out of my mouth that I shouldn't have. I said, man, I'm getting ready to be sick tomorrow. Lo and behold, I wake up, I am sick. <laughs> when I felt it, I should have just got up and made some chicken broth and had some orange juice and pumped myself up full of water. Um, but I didn't. So know how to speak words of health and healing over yourself. Today, I didn't even sit in bed, and that's kind of what I still feel like, like I should be laying down. But I still got up and I kept moving. And I think it's part of the reason why I'm beginning to feel a little bit better. I still got, got up. I got dressed. I took my shower. Did my makeup. I went out to the store. Ran a few errands. And I kept my day moving because I still have business to take care of. Opportunities don't stop. Your responsibilities don't stop when you get sick. The thing that's going to make you more advantageous is actually having the energy and the enthusiasm to continue to go after those opportunities. And that requires you to truly take care of and manage your health. So do what you have to do to keep it consistent and on your personal level. Set health goals or a health affirmation, as I like to call it, that is really going to help you stay on top of your health goals and feel successful. I don't think it benefits anybody to say, I'm going to lose 30 pounds by Christmas. Don't even set that goal. Say, I'm going to feel fabulous and my body is going to be tight and toned by the holidays. That's more realistic because tight and tone could mean you lost five pounds and your body just looks better. To say specifically 30 pounds, this is one of those goals. We, we all know about SMART goals, right? We have to be specific, have something measurable, reliable, and timely. 
we're not going to do that for health goals. This is one goal that's not really a smart goal. It's a smarter goal. <laughs> How about that? The smarter goal. Set a health affirmation that really speaks to what you hope to gain from having good health. What does good health look like to you? Those are the questions that you want to answer. And think about what you really hope to gain. For me, great health means that I'm in a position to receive more opportunities. So that's why I set my health affirmation is take care of me so that I can take care of business. So think about that today. Think about what your health affirmation would be, what you hope to gain by having very good health. And ladies, take care of you. Because when you don't, your household is probably what I like to call jacked up. <laughs> Everybody's doing their own thing because mama is at home sick. So please take care of your health. Take care of your body. I'm about to go make myself some chicken noodle soup. And hopefully tomorrow I will be feeling much better. Matter of fact, let me change that. I will be feeling much better tomorrow. <laughs> Have a great afternoon. And I will see you tomorrow for day eight of the Virtuous Woman Challenge. Don't forget to read your creed today. Speak it loud and speak it proud.